The Boston Children's Museum is back open today for the first time since the start of the pandemic. And of course, there are several new safety guidelines that visitors must follow. Anna Myler takes us inside. Dancing dinosaurs and cheering employees welcomed families back to the Boston Children's Museum today. It's very emotional. It's very exciting. And um, it's great. It's just, it's incredible to, uh, to welcome families back. Two, one. The museum opened its doors to the general public this morning for the first time since March 13th. We're very excited to be back. Very, very excited. Although little Emmett may not even make it past the lobby. Oh, he's so happy. We might not leave the spot. <laughs> Parents and grandparents are overjoyed to have an activity to do with the kids after spending months at home. There's a lot of toys at home, but after a while you um, end up losing your imagination. So getting out and you know having more options is really a great thing. The museum has a number of new safety precautions in place like plastic dividers, yes, yes. hand sanitizer stations, social distancing marks on the floor, and everyone has to wear a mask. You also have to make a reservation ahead of time. So we're open in two different time slots each day, Wednesday through Sunday. Between the two time slots, we switch out all of the loose parts, all of the toys that are in the exhibits, put out a fresh set, give a good cleaning to the entire building, um, and then we're ready for the afternoon. The museum is also taking steps like limiting the number of kids per exhibit and taking used parts like golf balls and pretend food and putting them in bins to be sanitized after each use. I'm, I'm happy that they're doing all that. It's, it's great. I was a little concerned. I have brought lots of extra hand sanitizer. Another way to stay clean, playing with soap and bubbles. The staff says all changes have been a lot of work, but it's paid off. To see the museum open, it's, it's been worth it. It's worth it. In Boston, Anna Myler, CBSN, Boston.